these days, maybe I'll do a workout live. What the heck? You know? So, I don't think we have, <laughs> we don't have our dumbbells. But that's okay. Because we can use something else. Actually, we can use these today. This is, uh, these are like nine pounds, eight pounds. Um, we have a straight bar. And the other thing, you know, what I'll do at the gym, it's, uh, I'll just grab the two and a half pound plates. So I have those micro weights, but I'll just do, you know, you can do them at the same time, alternate, right? Trying not to uh, go above my shoulder. Now, the angles that I'm showing you guys probably are not going to be the best for this. Um, so let's get a third. Let's get a third camera going. And I'll probably post all three of these videos because you know what? I need to watch ours. Not, not to say anybody's going to watch all three of them. All right, folks. So we are doing a another workout video. Got a third camera going. Just kind of getting warmed up here. So I think the third camera probably will show the height that I'm taking this to. Try not to go beyond my shoulders. Um, and we already did military side lats shrugs we're pretty beat and now we're doing this now so i have those um another thing i can use for just to get the you know if i'm going to use resistance to get the blood flowing i can use these two pound weights i have one two and three you can see I don't use it much. I got covered with dust. And of course, if you're doing heavy military bench press overhead, you may not need to do this exercise. Um, so we have that. What else do we have, folks? We have bands. I need to take... I have a bunch of different ones. Actually, I think my... This is probably the less than 10 pounds. Um, this is a tough one to do with with both arms if you're going to use one of these bands but I usually step on the band and do that I could hold we could try and do both bands putting uh, the weight on our or the band under our foot of course you could use other things So there's that, folks. Straight bar. Now, I don't know if I'm buying a five foot straight bar. I 
thought about getting a six footer. Um, you know, doing both at one time. And I usually have to put one foot in front of the other just to maintain balance, all right? Now, what's good about this, folks, is we can use the microweights. I could go up a pound at a time until I found the exact number <laughs> that say I can only do like, you know, eight reps, 10 reps. This is a more of a high rep exercise, so I think 10 to 12 is a better number than six to eight. There's probably no reason to do six to eight with this, except to show off, right? I mean, ego lifting, you'll see some of that crap on this channel for sure. But, you know, to be honest with you folks, you should avoid ego lifting. You know, I, uh, some of the channels I subscribe to, it's evident there's a lot of that on there. But I'm just trying to clean this place up a little. Plus we need, we might need some of these weights. Now, if I was warmed up good, oh, maybe I could use those 15s on her. I think after this, I'm going to do my hip thrusts. Uh, tomorrow's leg day. It might, it might have a negative effect on me. We shall see. One of these days, you guys are going to tune in and be like, wow, he finally cleaned up that place. He's got his surround sound speakers mounted. And if we could just find some non-copyright music to crank, that would be pretty cool, right? So that's one of the negatives. You know, making these videos and not having the, uh, doing it like a gym where you got music cranking. And I am trying, folks, to find the one pound plates. Because we really are going to go up slower increments. The shoulder is a very delicate muscle, right? And as we just warm up, Obviously, can get a damn good pump out of just using uh, lighter weights and doing more reps. Okay, so once again, So we could go from that to, if we're gonna increment, I have three quarters, I've got half, I can go to two and a half. Just stepping aside for a little tricky poo action. Now we lost one of our cameras. I heard, I heard one camera down, probably out of memory storage space, even though I usually take all of the stuff off here, but I guess in this case I did not. That was actually a good view too. You guys can see that on that camera. I think that was the better view. Um, we can raise this up. That one was further away, a bit lower. It was a nice, you know, nice view. You can see all the action, the whole room. But let's 
So I have a bunch of videos on here I need to get off. Oh well. All right, we'll worry about that later. You gotta do stuff while you rest, right? So we can, um, we'll move this one back a little bit. Maybe change the angle up a little. Now we didn't really answer the question. What are we gonna do for the next weight? I could have sworn I had two and a half pounders over here. We can, you know, really go ridiculous here because with ones or one and a quarter, if you get those plates, um, you know, you can continually increase from one pounds. Now, like I said, if you have the other increments like I do, we can go up a half pound, three quarter pound, or you can use those for what's probably more their intended purpose, which is, hey, one week, maybe I bench 315, try and do that eight reps. The next week, maybe I throw on exactly 316 or 317, try and get eight reps. If I do, the next week, maybe I put on uh, 318, 319, something like that. If you have enough incremental weights to get to that point, or you know, it could be 318 and a half, whatever, whatever it works out to. Um, so those are pretty cool from that aspect. Instead of having to jump the full five pounds, which your body may not be able to hit eight reps with, but it might be able to do 317. 318, 318 and a half, 319, maybe even 319 and a half, but you just can't do 320, right? So get that for a couple weeks. Maybe you get stronger. Then you come in and you come back and you hit your 320. All right, so I'm actually going to feel it out a little bit. Um, I'm amazed these uh, storage racks, the tolerances, you would think, you know, for this, the tolerance would be really loose, right, to get these weights on. I can barely get my bumper plates on there, that's why, I'm not sure if this camera shows it, it might, no, not from that angle. Um, they're all on the floor. <laughs> all on the floor, folks. All right, so just so you can see, we're adding 0.75. Of course, this camera is going to be reversed. The other one is 4K 60 FPS. Eventually, I'm going to put some lights in above, so when I'm working out, you can see the definition better. Um, over where the power rack is, you know, sometimes I'm sitting in there and you can see the definition a little bit better than, you know, like being so white. The light is just shining on me. Um, you know, what I have, maybe the belly even looks even bigger. <laughs> And it's pretty big though, folks. Um, all right, so here we go. So there. We can add, we'll just add another 10, or excuse me, another pound. Getting a good workout, feeling the shoulders. You know, some days you'll see me doing light days, some days you'll see me doing heavy days. So, uh, what do we have here for dumbbells? We, missing half our dumbbells. Most of the dumbbells in the other room. I'll watch TV in there and I'll work out, you know. 
which is always screwed up because if I got to go heavier, then I got to come in here. So I'm pausing my TV show, pausing my movie. Come in here. I have a TV in here you guys probably seen, but um, the Roku doesn't work this far away, even though we have three routers. I'm throwing a pounder on there. But it's all good. Eventually, I do have a 100 foot Ethernet cable that I thought about running in here. Um, I should do it before the, before this stuff got, oh, it's completely put it in the ceiling. Yeah, I got to figure out what I want to do in here, folks. I got to make a decision, change things around, make it more cam camera friendly. Like the power rack. I mean, how perfect would it be to actually use the power rack in the middle of the floor putting the weight on it, picking it off, and then lifting up instead of having to bend over and pick it up off the floor, right? I mean, that's just a lot easier, right? Um, when I did military press the other day, I had to be real cautious about hitting things. Um, I had to back up a ways and, you know, not taking the weight off was any big deal, but after you do almost 20 reps at 135, your legs, your mind and everything are just kind of like, hey, where's this rack at? So I had to walk, you know, so many feet to put it back up. Um, God, when I was younger, maybe that wouldn't have been a problem. But now when I'm older, it's like, you need the crap thing. You need that thing right there in front of me. <laughs> Done with the set, rack it. So I think we need to make some changes in here. Now, sadly, though, I can't move the stereo because all the wiring is in that spot. So what to do? What to do, folks? This back wall probably would be my best bet for the, the power, power rack. Um, maybe even over either centered or over. And then if I used, if I got the decline bench off the wall, I wouldn't really need the weight tree anymore because there's, oh gosh, four, four pegs on that for storing weights. No, five, five pegs. The power rack has two and I potentially could buy, I think I could at least buy another peg for that. So then this weight tree, I could, you know, I could probably sell it, put it somewhere else. All right, next set. So that's doing good. Now, now I'm going to go up to a five. Now, the only thing I like about where the power rack is, the light above. Could I have been smart and put another light in? Um, so that said, I think I've convinced myself what I need to do we need a power rack over, definitely up over here, a lot of weight's going to have to move, we're going to improve our camera angles. I have to move this tree out of the way.
But, you know, this is, uh, I think it's the way to go, folks. Now, the only question is if I'll be able to pick this damn thing up and move it myself. <laughs> not, you know, not necessarily pick it up, but drag it, <laughs> drag it over. slide the deep front of bench down a little bit, which probably means I'm going to need to take some weight off of it. Uh, there we go. I think we'll be all right. Now the real question will be, I think we'll just slide our bumper plates down. Now we will be able to do all kinds of exercises in here once we get situated. And that's a good thing. I wish I had the blower. Blow all these uh, inert and the mugs and everything else out of the way. All right, folks, time for set. So we got fives on here. If your grip is weak, you could use uh, straps. Nothing wrong with using straps, folks. Oh my god, I just found microweights I didn't even know that I had. <laughs> we have, what are these? 0.25s. So, okay, I have 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. In one, one pound. So, um, that's basically two and a half pounds. If I did the math right. Yeah, if I did the math right. So, I'm just going to... Take these weights off. This is where you wish I had a uh, training partner that was motivated. Like, oh yeah, we need to we need to move this around, and make it better in here. And then they're like, they just do it all while you stand around. Like some really big, some really big guy, right? Way bigger than me. Just to get out of the way. This is not going to be easy. To do. Okay, bench is out of the way. We got bar. What did I say? We got barbells. A bunch of barbells to move. The good thing is, I think I can set this, set the power rack up. I'll also support potentially all the barbells on the backside. That would be amazing. 
Absolutely amazing. So folks, uh, let's do three quarter pound. Now, I've told you guys this in videos before. I have at least five channels. Um, a bunch of them are monetized. I'm trying to get this one monetized. But I'll do a lot of uh, tech unboxing, product unboxings, you name it. And one thing that's always cool is when the manufacturer actually checks out your site and leaves a comment. I've had that happen a bunch of times. It's, it is a cool thing. Like, oh, they actually checked out my site. They liked my my work, even whether they're being truthful or not. It's another story. Okay, so we're going to continue to take the weight off of the off of this bar. Get in there, folks. Soon you will hopefully see me dragging a power rack over or putting it on a furniture dolly. All right, three quarter pound added. Take the dumbbell off, or the barbell off here. I'm jipping you guys a little bit of the, the action. I'll move the camera so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so see the power rack. And it's not too ridiculously heavy. If I put this bar down a little bit, I'll be able to lift it up and drag it. is it's not gonna fit. <sighs> I didn't think it was as wide as it was but so the dumbbells are a lot of weight. What's on the decline is a lot of weight. <laughs> but if we just take enough weight off the decline we will be able to pivot it out of the way I believe. <laughs> In this back corner, folks, may be the new home of the decline bench. And like I always say, I hope I don't end up filming my death back there. We did easily, I will say, 381 on the decline over the weekend and I really wish I had a stronger spotter because man I felt I was feeling for possibly 420 I mean you can just tell some days like okay we've got a lot of strength today this is the day We'll just 
have to wonder, folks, how much good yours truly have done. Uh, okay. Now. So we got weights in a way. You know, the good thing is nobody really watches these videos. Well, that's not true. Some of my videos are popular. I think if I say I'm moving, it's a front lap day, and I'm moving, and nobody's going to watch the video. <laughs> but we'll see. To those 10 people that might make it this far in the video, I appreciate your time. And patience. Okay, so we've got to remove this. Go figure. It was in the way. <laughs> now the other question, yeah, it's it is oriented the right way. I was about to say, if I bring this over here and it's backwards, I'm not gonna be happy. And there's really nothing to grip on to this. No good. <laughs> so we lost something back there. Whoops. The 10 pounders fell off. Yeah, I should have been a little smarter about that. All right, so. Adjust the cameras again. And we may we may move over to the spot where the lighting's better. So either folks, I'm really strong or this thing's really light or a combination of those two. I wish I had a twin brother. That lives right down the road. <laughs> okay, so we are almost there. I don't want to hit the ceiling. I don't want to have to do any rework. So eventually it'll come in here. The uh, ceiling Everything will be painted. Oops. What color is going to be painted is another story, but I was thinking a dark gray. I don't want to go black. Black is uh, be too dark in here, I think. Okay. So now. There's carpet that's going to be in the way. I may be able to do hip thrusters off this thing, folks. That would be pretty darn cool. Oops. All right, decline bench. So the decline bench needs to come off the wall so I can use the get access to the plate, get my spotter back there. There we go. All right. Now that back corner where the power rack just was potentially could be my spot for um, trying to think what I, I want to phrase this. Could be a spot for a four-way net machine. Could be a spot for, it looks like we're, on, we're centered on this one with the other camera. Um, could be a spot for some of the other equipment. Now, what to put on these things, folks, is the question. 
you know. <laughs> I've got my weight pegs. I've been using a tens, and to be honest with you, I could put the 45s on there. If I get a second one, uh, second weight holder, we could put that on the front. Now, sit. Okay. That looks a little, a wee bit high. A wee bit high. Put this bar on. Oh, you know what? This bar ain't gonna fit on there, folks. That is a uh, five foot bar. All right. So it's been a while since we got the set. We added a little weight. Whew. So I think we could go up to a 10 if we keep doing that. Um gosh folks, I don't know what I want to put on this thing. I've got a pile of weights. I just moved the uh, tree, and I almost feel like we still need the tree. So we can put the 45s on the line. We need to move a little bit further off the wall. And I guess we ought to put a barbell back on here. So I can put, I can actually put, use one of the pins to put one of the bars on the back side. And not that it's probably really smart, but I can use that as a weight holder. <laughs> like this one. If I put this on the back, I can use it as a uh, location for another barbell. Which, you know, doesn't actually sound like a half bad idea. Now, somebody out there Probably convince me it's a bad idea, but when I come to do the next time I come and do a military on this bench, I will be regretting that I did this probably. Oh, you know what? We're going to need the other, um, oh, you know why this is in the way? When I go put the bench in, the bar is going to be completely in the way. Ah, most likely. So I'm, I'm liking this though, you know, a lot easier to get in here. Wish my ceiling was another foot taller. And this was actually probably another foot taller. All right, time for another set. We're gonna have to take the one and three quarter off, put a two and a half on. Not quite ready for the 10 yet. Now, if this starts to hurt your back, get yourself a back belt. <sighs> I am starting to, you know, maybe use a little bit more momentum. But, um, huh. 
So for now, folks, this back, back section is going to be the uh, what do you call it? bench storage area. And one day I'll get this. I know you guys can't see it on camera, but one day I'll get the drywall out of the way back there. I almost think there's probably a way I can do hip thrust off of this with the bench. Not have to uh, get underneath the bench. Okay, so like I said, we're cleaning this. We're going to make this professional, folks. You guys are important to me and we can't have a half-ass gym set right so somebody had commented to me that really I didn't need all these benches I have I just need one good incline bench and I gotta tell you, I agree with that statement. You know, I had a hammer strength, life fitness, or good Cybex. Uh, who else? There's, I mean, there's so many different brands. If I had one of those, we would not need the ones we have. So I know we're doing this bar. I'm just curious how this looks with the lighting over here. If it looks any better for doing this exercise. I'm going to use 20 pound dumbbells. Oh, I knocked them over. And what did I break? That was looks like it said 15 pounds, but I only got two things that say 15 pounds. So backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Yeah, this is the spot, folks. Lighting. <laughs> so we'll have the far camera. You know, be over there going, "What is this idiot talking about?" But. I think for the folks on this camera, yeah, you can see, right? You're probably like wondering, wow, this guy actually looks a lot better than we thought he did. <laughs> Damn. That's all I got to say, folks. Damn. All right. Let's give you guys a sideshow. Try to concentrate on shoulders, not my stomach. So this channel, you probably won't see us doing cardio, though you will occasionally see me showing you how to use a exercise bike, treadmill, elliptical, whatever. Um, probably not gonna see legs on this channel. Unless it's a plant fitness. Not to say we can't do them, but. Okay, I felt that. So, yeah, if you, uh, if you saw this video, please leave a comment if you don't feel like there was a huge difference in the way my arms look and my shoulders. Versus what you're seeing over in this area. Next time we're filming over there. For sure. Uh, so we have not. We still haven't figured out what we're doing with the Olympic plates. Got the Olympic plates all over the place. Camera's in the way. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the 45. 
Because next time I do bench press, we'll need all of them except for this uh, the smaller 45 that I have. I'm actually, I'm breathing pretty heavy, folks. Now we've got another bench. One camera is going to look over at the other area. So you guys can see. Um, I got to get this out of the way so I can put the 45s back on. Now I've got this goose neck. And I probably should put my weight belt on all this moving, right? Now I'm really, um, you know, one of the things I'm recording with is a Samsung tablet, the 5S E. And I actually wish that I had uh, another one or two of them. Um, if they would allow you to mirror, uh, unmirror, I should say, that would be pretty damn cool. This almost looks like a gym, folks. I should uh, consider doing some personal training here at the house. First, the uh, tight fitness rules, but not the way I'm doing it. All right. We did seven and a half pounds on each side. The floor is a mess. Need to get the, the maid down here to sweep this place. I think we'll throw one one pounder on each side. You know that 20, 20 pound dumbbells are probably heavier than this. <sighs> All right. I'm, li I'm liking it. Took a long time to change things around, but. So that's going to do it for the front deltoid part of this. Um, I'm going to finish with the, of course the camera didn't pick up what the hell I just did, the one camera did. I'm going to finish with rearranging this place. And I tell you, I might, I might regret this, but finding the exact spot for the decline bench, you know, you don't, because this, if this was like three feet wider, it'd be okay to have the decline in line with this, but I had to keep it over there. But so much stuff's going to be easier to do now to include getting the benches in here and the camera shots. Um, It'd be harder to get a good from above shot, but at least, you know, maybe not that side. From this side, we will have a better, better uh, focal point or whatever. From the other side, maybe not so great. There's a barbell, dumbbell rack in a way. All right, so still cleaning up. And I still, looks like I'm going to get away with not using the, with not using the uh, weight tree. Which is in the way where it is, but.
Now, the only thing that would be nice is if I would finish this round sound system. I think the only thing with the way the uh, speakers I have is drilling a solid screw into the wall, bigger screw, and then putting them in there. That would clean up the floor in two spots. But if I keep making these videos, folks, you know, we're never going to be able to have TV stereo. So maybe I should just stop. <laughs> All right. So there is that. Now, I think I'm going to put the 35s on here because the reality is I rarely ever use these. If there was one weight plate, maybe that's why Planet Fitness doesn't have 35s. Um, the 20 or so Planet Fitnesses I've been to. I don't see one of them has in. Yeah, I go up to New Jersey a lot. I've never seen so many Planet Fitnesses in a, roughly a 50 square mile area. I think I've tried out 10 up there. And I will, I'm going to make more, um, videos of me visiting different Planet Fitnesses. There, you know, you can honestly see how similar all of them are. And some, though, are, are way better than others. I'll try and get a couple in Ohio, I think, over the next year. I don't know where, where else I'm gonna travel to. Oh, you know, all along I-95, actually. I can hit <laughs> a bunch of different ones. Matter of fact, so if I make this heavy enough when I'm doing my um, my hip thrusts, I should be able to basically um, not have to weigh down the bench. Assuming the bench will make impact with this at each end. Okay, so we have the 45 still, which are in the way. Now these 45s that I have, these bounce from, they're not the same diameter. Um, does that matter? <laughs> um, I think psychologically, <laughs> they look like 35s. And because of that, I, don't necessarily want to have them in the videos, but we could actually uh, do something with them. Now, um, the only thing this is screwing up, I think, is hey. What were you gonna do for the other dumbbells? Can't leave them on the floor in the other room. Somebody else is gonna go nuts on me. And I don't wanna put them on the floor in here. So we're gonna need a second rack. These cameras are totally missing. I'm gonna have these at two different angles. Um, but yeah, the dumbbell rack, I need a second rack. Especially if I keep adding big weights. So I've got 80s coming. I got 95s I'm thinking of buying. That should do it with the heavy end. And then we have everything underneath 40. The only way that would be better is if I had a, um, if I had, Two and a half pound increments, like Jesse James West does for his collection. I saw he had his dream gym. Um, this is not my dream gym, but I realize once I take the whole basement over, 
And, you know, if this channel became really popular, like, I don't know how it became that popular, but if it became that popular that I said, wow, I have $100,000 to go spend on a gym. You know, there's a video that will be released. What are the pieces of equipment I have in my dream gym? Well, I could go on to eBay and probably buy all that for less than 50000 But, you know, uh, unless you're really good at making videos. And that would be the only point of it. And you're going to have collaborations. People come, have a little more privacy. I think I probably need another house, though, because, like I said, this... Eight foot ceiling, or whatever it is, eight foot and a half. Uh, you know, another foot, it would have probably been perfect. Now, can you make some good videos down here? Yeah, it's it's possible. So I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, still, folks. We've got bumper plates everywhere. I think I'm going to. Uh, work on this tomorrow <laughs> or maybe work on it later but uh, and put a couple more weight plates away this has probably been easily an hour video no no 56 minutes so if we could just get a thousand people now actually we need we need two thousand people to watch um, this video for an hour if I can get that, <laughs> we will have our 4,000 watch hours. Uh, and if that many people watched the video that long, we'd probably have the subscribers too. Okay. So there's that, folks. And I thought I was going to do hip thrust, but uh, the reality is I think I'm plumb tougher. Exhausted. We need to go eat some food. Yeah, so this is what a, a five pound bar looks like on here. I think, wow, I didn't realize this, a six foot bar might actually fit on here. May or may not. I probably, for this, I could definitely use a bar a little bit longer. Um, you know, for me, squatting, ideally my arms would be this far out, <laughs> I think. So, well, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Um, stays up there. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.